This week on The Wire, reports confirm housing boom, rates to stay low till 2024, and loose listings boost prices. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Our top story this week, reports confirm housing boom. So new data from two sources confirms that a national real estate boom is underway across Australia. The latest figures from both Domain and CoreLogic record annual growth in house prices in most locations in the nation, but in particular in the latest quarter. CoreLogic's price report shows that all 15 market jurisdictions, that's eight capital cities and seven state regions, recorded uplift in January and in the past three months. Domain's report shows all capital cities had significant price increases in 2020, with major uplift in the December quarter. Now, the core logic figures show quarterly growth, growth, I should say, of at least 2.4% in all 15 market jurisdictions. Now, that equates to double-digit annual increases if those growth rates are maintained. But 12 of those 15 major markets had quarterly increases greater than the average, ranging from 3.5% to 7.8%. Now, the domain data shows quarterly rises in house prices ranging from 3 to 6.4% in five of the eight capital cities and equally significant increases throughout many regional locations. The smaller capital cities and the regional markets are leading the growth in house prices. And now guys, for our next story. Rates to stay low till 2024. So the Reserve Bank has nailed record low interest rates to the floor until 2024 and extended its bond buying program by another $100 billion. Now the RBA this week decided to keep its cash rate at 0.1% and lowered its unemployment forecast to hit 6% by the end of this year, down from 6.5% it had forecast three months ago. Now inflation and GDP forecasters have also been upgraded. Surprising most economists was the RBA's call to extend its quantitative easing program by buying an additional $100 billion in bonds. RBA Governor Philip Lowe says the economic recovery is faster than expected and GDP is now expected to return to its pre-pandemic level by the middle of this year. He says the economic recovery is well underway and has been stronger than was earlier expected. Governor Lowe went on to say that the board will not increase the cash rate until the actual inflation is sustainably between the 2 to 3% target range, and the board does not expect these conditions to be met until 2024 at the earliest. Now for our final story of the week, low listings boost prices. So we've started 2021 with low inventory levels with available stock falling short of accelerated buyer demand, and that's what new research reveals. With the housing market on a rising trajectory, buyers who sat on their hands in 2020 are now entering the market, eager to make up for lost time. As a result, existing house supply has been impacted with a strong rate of absorption from rising home buyer activity, creating a seller's market. CoreLogic estimates that the number of national home sales over the past three months has surpassed the previous year's figures by 24%. The volume of regional home sales is up 27%, while capital city sales are up 22%. In contrast, the number of fresh listings added to the market nationally over the four weeks ending 24th of January was 3.3% lower than last year and 13% below the five-year average. Nationally, total listing numbers, which included new, list, uh, in pl new listings plus relistings, were 28% lower than this time last year, tracking 2% below the five-year average. This increased buyer demand against the backdrop of lower available housing is further compounded by the current or as for the compounding the current movement in prices. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference guys, and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.